though the photographs have been removed, uh, well, I mean, you should be able to find uh, still slides of everything. Glass plate is what you'd be looking for if you wanted to find pictures of my stuff. What would be regarded as top secret? <laughs> National security. Um, I'm LS, so Lucifer Star, creator of 800 galaxies, master of races, 12 races, all that stuff. So I know, well, I paid for them. So anyway, like I said, there are towns with all copper roofs. I paid for that. I did that. The first steam trains and the first nuclear trains and the first nuclear everything, me. So first nuclear submarines, like I say, uh, 480. Uh, 380, we were messing around with it and and stuff, about 480, but we really didn't have the steel technology back then. Like I said, it was more or less pig iron riveted together and uh, leaked a little bit. Um, and mostly they're more like surface ships. Um, uh, but, you know, my German scientists wouldn't do anything dangerous. So by about, oh, like I say, um, uh... We were going along by about year 500 or 600. Um, I'm thinking about when exactly it was. Um, like I said, there's pictures of everything. Uh, you'll see them in men in white clothes and white submarines later on. Like I said, when I got the white submarines, the problem, of course, was keeping the paint on. Uh, the paint kept peeling off of them, which did not look good at all, and they rusted a lot. So, like I said, I didn't really get the epoxy paint or the kind of paint that could actually stick to them. Because the, the hull shrinks and stuff, and the hull expands and stuff like that, it's bad, it's hard on the paint. So, we tried paint, but well, the paint stuck pretty good. Um, it, was, it, was, it was an issue of paint, really. Uh, getting it to stick and stay on the submarines was always a problem. You know, you'd go into the Arctic, come back out, and you'd, you wouldn't have paint, <laughs> there'd be strips of paint missing. But anyway, um, like that's something I nipple lot. But anyway, um, but the, um, uh, I mean, there were a lot of submarines, the big submarines, small submarines, all kinds of submarines. My submarines were really nice. They used a lot of brass and stuff like that. Um, the problem, of course, like I say, was the battery technology. But the first, um, they were diesel and direct drive, actually. Like I said, most of my submarines were direct drive and diesel. Um, I forget. We were messing around with it with a two-speed transmission on some of them. Like, like, like I say, you'll notice on some of them there's actually like a two-speed transmission where, you know, you have slow speed and then you have high speed or whatever. But, you know, it's better just to have one gear, really. <laughs> some, we tried the two-speed transmission. It didn't really matter. Anyway, though, I forget why. Oh, that's why. Because... That's right, the two-speed transmission was for surface driving or underwater driving. I think the power, the, there might be a power difference, I don't know. I don't really know. I just know we were messing around with the two-speed transmission. <laughs> I feel like Jay Leno. I don't know. Uh, just saying I did. <laughs> but anyway, we're, they are messing around with the two-speed transmission and stuff. There was a problem with the heat. Actually, the biggest problem, like I said, is the back bearing on the submarines. The back bearing would always overheat on them. Uh, because it's, I don't know why, I guess the water seal on it was always a problem or something like the packing. <laughs> uh, the pa packing when you're, you're at two, th that would always leak. The pack the back packings would always leak. And the problem was to crimp it down and it would always overheat or it leak or there was always a problem with the, with the packings. Um, the rear seal was always a problem on those submarines. Like it wasn't until probably 1920 or nine, uh, I mean, I mean, probably 18, 1800 or, or 1200 that we actually got good packings. Um, like I said, what, what what the civilians know and what I know, like I know everything the government would know because, or actually I know more than the government knows because <laughs> I'm the, the LS. So um, my first submarine was, was more or less a thousand years ago or more than that. Maybe, two, yeah, about 500 year, year 500 we were messing around with it. And then, like I say, um, year um uh like they're mass being mass produced by 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 1900 
or 1850, 1890. Like I said, I wasn't really messing around with flight all that much back then. I was just kind of like, I was mostly doing my, my ocean stuff. I built the Titanic and that was really awesome, really cool. Uh, that was about 200 years ago or a long time ago, basically. Uh, actually, like I said, eight, eh, for, uh, first Titanic was somewhere around seven, maybe even 1600. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Like, like I say, it was plate steel, like 1800 at least. Or so is when the first 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 Titanic came out, and it was about 200 feet long or 300 feet long, and basically steel plate and all that stuff. And everyone said it was impossible, and I did it. And then, um, and then the bigger ones uh, were like 600 foot long ones, and even 900 foot long ones were somewhere around uh, like. Yeah, in 1890, 1900, that's when I really started to hit my stride as far as production and stuff like that. And like I said, like I kept the cost down by producing food and stuff. But I mean, I had so many things going. I had ammonium nitrate going. I had research on this. I research on that. I was fighting wars. You know, there was a Republican insurrection or, you know, what it is Rasputin basically was being annoying. There was Mr. Brown and the Harlem and Wolf takeover. There was a lot of things going on back then. I mean, it's serious. They were trying to take over my LS Belfast facility. I mean, the black people were were running on ships and attacking, att ramming their ship into my Titanic. I was having to hire guards just to keep my people safe. 